In a normal, healthy person, skeletal muscle is a highly metabolically active tissue. It is made up of cells that continuously divide and then mature in order to grow and repair itself in response to stress, such as exercise. Skeletal muscle is essential for the production of energy. It keeps us warm, strong and mobile. A reduction in skeletal muscle mass is associated with degenerative conditions, including age-related muscle wasting, diabetes and myopathies, all of which can result in a reduction in muscle function and therefore quality of life. In contrast, cancer is a disease characterised by uncontrolled cell growth. It is also a metabolically active tissue, however different to skeletal muscle. Cancer cells do not differentiate into any particular type of tissue and as we all know, cancer can result in loss of life. These two conditions, cancer and reduced muscle mass, are so highly prevalent today that everybody here would know of somebody that is suffering from one of or even both of these conditions. In order to determine how these conditions take place, it comes down to the cells and what's going on inside these cells. Scientists have discovered a gene called NDRG2. It controls cell growth in normal and stressed conditions. Research has shown that an increase in the amount of NDRG2 significantly slows cancer cell growth. My PhD in muscle has shown the opposite result that this increase in NDRG2 significantly increases muscle cell growth. Both of these outcomes are positive and this is a breakthrough for both cancer and muscle cell research alike because often these two conditions present hand in hand. A cancer patient who is also suffering from reduced muscle mass. Therefore, the aim of my PhD is to determine why NDRG2 behaves differently in these two different tissues. I'm going to do this by comparing the gene expression patterns and metabolic differences between cancer and muscle with this increase in NDRG2. These findings will contribute to a greater understanding of the cellular differences between cancer and muscle and the outcomes of my PhD may help us move towards an early detection test or treatment therapy for cancer and improved muscle health. Thank you.